it's good to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today's recipe is a simple chicken parmesan. I love chicken parmesan. I love chicken. I love tomato sauce. I love cheese. So who can go wrong with chicken parmesan? First, heat the oven to 450 degrees. I've done that, so I'm prepared. Then we need to get the ingredients ready. This recipe takes four skinless, boneless chicken breast halves. I'm only gonna make two today, but I'm going to treat it as though I'm making four because Doug and I, we're just gonna have it for one meal. That's plenty. So I got my two chicken breasts ready in a bag. We're going to need a little salt and pepper, two large eggs, one cup of panko breadcrumbs, so I got the four C breadcrumbs and it's panko. I found that at Giant Eagle. One half cup of Parmesan cheese, which is the grated kind. So I got my one half cup here. Two tablespoons of all purpose flour. I got two tablespoons here out of my old dirty flour can. One cup of olive oil for frying. We're going to fry the chicken just for like two minutes on each side, then we're gonna bake it. So when people ask, is this healthy? Did you bake it? Did you fry it? You can honestly say, yeah, I did bake it. <laughs> just forego, just let them, don't even tell them about the frying part. A uh, half cup of prepared tomato sauce. I like Prego traditional Italian sauce. That's what I like, just has a little bit more flavoring. Uh, one quarter cup of fresh mozzarella cut into small cubes. Well, I didn't buy any fresh mozzarella, but I did happen to have just regular mozzarella that you buy at the store. And I just cut this into small cubes. So I got that ready here. And then it says one quarter cup chopped fresh basil. I don't have that. I'm sure that would have added a nice touch. So just remember to pick up the fresh basil. I forgot. A half cup of grated provolone cheese. Well, I don't have grated provolone cheese. So I had regular provolone cheese out of a bag. So I am just going to use shredded provolone. And then you're gonna need another quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and one tablespoon of olive oil. So let's get started. It says place the chicken breast between two sheets of heavy plastic. I'm just using a freezer bag on a solid level surface. Firmly pound chicken with the smooth side of a meat mallet to a thickness of half an inch. Seasoned chicken thin thoroughly with salt and pepper. Okay, so I do not have a meat mallet. I'm sure a lot of you do, I don't. So substitutes could be a rolling pin, could be a can of food, could be a hammer. So we're gonna do this, see how this goes. Really, we just wanna get it so that the meat, is about half inch, so it cooks evenly, gets cooked the whole way through. That's gonna have to do. Okay, thank you, kidney bean can. All right, so we got that. I'm gonna transfer these to a plate. Got another apron. It says, life is what you bake it. <laughs> you get it? Life is what you bake it. So true, so true. Okay. So, let's thoroughly season the uh, chicken with a little salt and pepper. So we got two eggs we're beating up here. And remember, you would normally use four chicken breasts, but I like cheese and sauce, so I can just slop it all over these things, and I, I love it. Okay, we got the two eggs beaten, shallow, set aside. There we go. Mix breadcrumbs and half cup Parmesan cheese in a separate bowl. So where's my breadcrumbs? Here's my cup of panko breadcrumbs and a half cup of Parmesan. Half cup, let's make sure, yep. I'm gonna mix those together and I'm gonna set these aside. Okay, gonna put that aside. Pour flour into 
a sifter or strainer and sprinkle over chicken breast evenly coating both sides. I don't have a strainer so guess what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pour it into this ladle. We'll see how that goes. See how it goes. And I'm going to see how the, yeah that works good. Just put it in as I need it. Whoops, got too much there. <laughs> Whoa! I'm going to have to uh, get rid of some of that. Whoop, don't want to put that back in there. And I'm going to put it on the other side. I can get rid of the excess there. We're going to do the same on this side. Okay, there's my panko breadcrumbs and my parmesan and cheese. Here's my eggs already beaten. So we want to dip the flour coated chicken breast into beaten eggs, transfer to the breadcrumb mixture, pressing the crumbs on both sides, repeat for each breast. Set aside breast for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to put the chicken breast on here and I'm going to put it in the egg mixture Then I'm going to put it in the panko bread crumb mixture and press it in. Put it here. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. Tell you what, the amount that he has works great for two big chicken breasts. Put that there. Pat that in. Because you might, if you did four chicken breast, you would probably need a little bit more of each of these things. So I'm going to let these sit for 15 minutes. And in that time, I can clean up everything else. And also, I can heat up olive oil in a large skillet on medium-high heat until it begins to shimmer. I'm going to do that probably about five minutes before I'm ready to use the chicken breast. So while we're waiting for that to heat, I thought I would just tell you a couple of cute chicken jokes since we're making chicken. Why does the chicken go to Burger King? Anyone know? Why does the chicken go to Burger King? To see a chicken strip. <laughs> These are great. These are great. Wait, I saw one here that I thought was so cute. Hold on a second. Uh, what do you get if a chicken lays an egg on top of a barn? Think about it. What do you get if a chicken lays an egg on top of a barn? An egg roll. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's see if I can find one or two good ones and then I will we'll, we'll stop. <laughs> this one's really stupid. <laughs> What do you call a rooster who wakes you up at the same time every morning? An alarm clock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is so stupid it is cute. What did the chick sicken What did the chick sicken say? Whoops. What did the sick chicken say? I have the people pox. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I'm done. It's, it's all good. I'm done. Nothing. Nothing. Come on. Wait. Wait. I think I hear a little something. It's starting. It is ready. Okay, so two minutes on each side. Let's get them brown. So what can we do while well, it's taking two minutes? You can get your steps in if you have a Fitbit. My Fitbit would help a lot more if I didn't eat so much. I love to eat. Sorry folks, I just love to eat. I don't know why, when I was younger, as a teenager, I didn't really care if I ate. The older I get, it seems that's all I do is eat. Okay. That's two minutes on one side. Let's see if I like it. So here are my crispy chicken breast, and they're like that on both sides. 
Place chicken in a baking dish and top each breast with about a third a cup of tomato sauce. Layer each chicken breast with equal amounts of mozzarella cheese, fresh basil, and provolone. You know what? I'm just going to put the amount of chicken sauce. I, I mean, I'm just going to put the amount of tomato sauce that I like. So I'm going to put it on top here just so it covers everything. And the, the stuff he has called for, I would use double for four chicken breasts. You have to use it as much as you think. A little tomato chunk there. Let's put even amounts of mozzarella and provolone cheese. If you don't love cheese, you don't need to put as much on. Put on even amounts. So I'm actually putting on about double the amount. Very good, very good. Now see what it says. Then sprinkle with one to two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. That's right, we already used the one. That's where the extra tablespoons come in. One to two tablespoons. So I'm gonna put this in here. Just sprinkle it. Sprinkle it a little bit more. Voila. Now it says, this is where we get the extra tablespoon of olive oil. Then drizzle one tablespoon of olive oil. So let's do this. There's one tablespoon. We're going to drizzle that like we need any more oil. So I've done that. Bake in preheated oven until cheese is browned and bubbly and chicken breasts are no longer pink in the center, which is approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Delish. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm just going to let them cook there a little bit together before I eat them. I'm going to let them sit for about 10 minutes. I'm just going to have half of one because they were big chicken breasts. That might be why I felt that the uh, ingredients weren't enough, but these were two massive sized chicken breasts. So if they were four small chicken breasts, the ingredients that he gave should work. But there again, you can put the amount of tomato sauce, the amount of cheese. It's all a preference. Um, some people don't, aren't that big of a fan of cheese. Mmm. I really like it. I might have to give this recipe to the Olive Garden. They might uh, hire me as a chef, even though I don't have any experience or great cooking skills. Once again, I'm here to show you that anyone can cook in the kitchen. You can substitute things, just like for the mallet. I used a can of kidney beans. And you'll see that you don't have to follow the recipe to a tea for it to taste delicious. And the chicken is really tender for 15 minutes. And to make it, uh, pound it down so that it's flatter, that's probably why it cooked quicker? I don't know. I give this recipe five out of five stars. Five. Not four, not three, not two, but five. So I hope you enjoy it. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll see you real soon.